Um, so what were we working on earlier? We were playing a little bit. We were making this Vandal deck. Is one of the... One of the things I'm most excited about for... Um... Brothers War is that there's quite a bit of fairy vandals in it. Because um to fairy makes fairy vandals. And by fairy vandals I mean these guys. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Fairy Vandal. So I think I'm going to cut it down. Right now I have um Quaza. Which is a Quaza? Um, who does the little life drain thing every time you draw a card. So like this, paired with Fairy Vandals, paired with Suspicious Stowaway, Vohar, always with Kaito, um, all decent ways to draw. We've, we should, right now I'm playing heavy into the counter magic because I think that you know, other than a couple cutdowns um, and a couple void rends, we really just don't want OP to play the cards that they want to play. We've got some bounce stuff. Um, and then if it gets really desperate, we've got some um, illuminators and trespassers in the sideboard here. And on top of that, we've got Denik. Um, which is kind of like a, um, a Hail Mary, if you will. It's, uh, it's going pretty well. I think there's, there's some t tweaks to be made. So I'm going to work on this deck a little bit, knowing that, you know, in five days or four days or whatever, um, It's going to get buffed up quite a bit by the new cards in Brothers War. And that will be fun. It'll be good. I think there's some, some neat stuff coming, like I said. I'll take another look because there was something else. I know that Teferi made Vandals, and I think they're spirits, the Teferi ones. But there was also um, Abhorrent something. Let me just look. Ba -ba -da -ba, Scryfall? Brothers War. So it's a fairy for sure. It's minus two ability is create a two, two blue spirit token with vigilance. And whenever you draw a card, put a one, one counter on it. Um, and then Teferi has, whenever you draw a card, put a loyalty counter on it. So we're going to hopefully keep our Teferis alive by drawing. Um, and then there was a couple in black. I believe there was two. Oh, Gixie and Puppeteer. So this is why I'm probably going to cut the Quaza and the white out of the deck. Probably completely is that I can play Gixie and Puppeteer, which, uh, does the same thing as Quaza, but on the second card each turn. And it drains two life instead of just the one. Um, the bonus with Puppeteer is that when it dies, I get to return another target creature with mana value three or less to the battlefield. And then there's Gurgling Anointer, which is right here. 
Um, whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a 1-1 counter on it. When it dies, return target creature card with mana value less than or equal to Anointer's power from the graveyard. And it's flying. So it does the same thing as Puppeteer. It does the same thing as Vandal. But it can return something larger. And then we might include stuff like Misery Shadow. Um, to keep things from going to the graveyard if we need to. Um, yeah, I feel like there was one more in blue, but I don't think I'm right. Oh, Stern Lesson's going to be good. Draw two, then discard a card. Create a Power Stone. Um, oh, Latinum Adams. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So it's a 4-mana 3-3. Three, three. Um... Which is nice because it stays out of cutdown range. And then curates back, which is great. Defabricates a new card, which is going to be awesome. Um, Low of Knowledge, which is a big powerful one. So I think what we're looking at or this deck right now is maybe trying to double down on the card draw. Whenever you draw your second card each turn. So if I could draw two cards on their turn that would also put a counter on Vandal. Um, so either we go cheap draw spells so we can cast two, or we do more expensive draw spells that give us two right out the gate. Stuff like Thirst for Knowledge or Thirst for Discovery maybe. Um, so I think what we do is we cut down on our quasas just as is. What else do we have for white? Just Voidrend and Denik. So Denik is nice and all, but Voidrend is really good. Um, however, if I can, maybe we just sideboard the white. We keep Fading Hope for protection. Um, one copy of Heroes, Downfall is not bad, main board. So if we sideboard the white in. So we keep Plains, Plains, Deserted Beach, Shattered Sanctum. Wait, do you... Would you spend a sideboard space on lands? Feels kind of bad, right? I wish we could take advantage of the fact that both Vandal and Stowaway are rogues, 
but I don't think we need to. Um, I wonder if there's anything. I mean, I guess we can look at artifacts as well. Anything I don't have. I mean, I guess consider is our best bet. Thirst for discovery is good. That's three cards and we can do it instant speed. Espionage is also good. Three mana, two cards, but it's sorcery speed. Um, actually, Phyrexian Espionage just isn't good, is it? Um, I'm just like, okay, what? I always think it's better than it is because it has this... Um, kicker on it but that's five mana draw to opponent um discards a card I want Cosmic Epiphany to be good, but it's just really hard to draw. Silver Scrutiny is good, but it's also a sorcery. For some reason I thought it wasn't. Now we could play Shieldred, because we're going to be drawing a lot. Um... Or we could play something like Tainted Indulgence. I think at that point I'd rather play a third Kaito. I want something... Um, what was that card from Dungeons and Dragons? The Illithid that whenever something did combat damage... You drew a card. Um, I guess combat research is almost the same thing. We could play Storm Chaser Drake. Would I rather play Storm Chaser Drake over Vohar? I don't think so. We're also missing land now. Um, okay, well, I think we can get rid of the essence scatters. Tribute is good. I feel like we just remove Quasar from the equation. I tried to do a thing there, it didn't really work. Um, so if we add more land, Probably add waterfront districts, right? Those are card draw. Um, 
We need to cut down. I think we can go to three, it considers. I feel like Vohar is interesting because we want um, like we're choosing to put instants and sorceries in the graveyard. We also don't have a way to get cards back. Hmm. Okay, we don't need lands anymore. Intercept is a good card, but we don't have any of them. I really don't want to spend... I mean, Rafine would be amazing. That would be a reason to put White back in. I think if you have Rafine and then Teferi on the board, like, that's just... free loyalty every turn. Uh, draw. Draws two cards, loses two life for three mana. That's not very good. Blade brand. Oh, look at that old blade brand art. That's savage. What is that opportunist that everyone plays? Morbid opportunist? It's not good enough. Three mana for a 1-3. I'd rather put Storm Chaser Drakes in there. have any uncommon wild cards okay never mind then um well i don't think we need a hull breaker we've got a lot of graveyard hate in the sideboard I don't necessarily think we need, but maybe we need to balance the any of the we don't have any of the pain lands oh I'm still on draw my bad we have one caves of Coilos, but oh that doesn't have both of the names on it 
Sunlight Marsh does. But I can't grab Sunlit Marsh with Obscura Storefront, can I? Can... What would you call them? New Capenna Backlands Find Duels? Fetching duels, that's not it. I don't think so. This says plain swamp on it, but that's just for domain. This says basic plains or island or swamp. isn't draw is it nope it is look at the top cards of your library put one of them into your hand that is a big difference combat research to do that well sideboard siphon insight and heroes downfall so firm and sage as soon as we start the day night cycle can get us cards kaito draws counter draw draw counter counter draw 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 kill counter Counter, counter, draw, draw. It's it's not glamorous, and it gets way stronger um, with those new cards. But for now, because I think like even though I really like the stowaway, um. I think I'd rather play something else that gets bigger when it draws, rather than something that can't be blocked that draws. Ooh, we won the die roll. Sure. Um, okay. Drew not a combat 
that spell, so that's not good. Um, hold on, I'm just switching my camera over. Okay, so that's tricky. So, definitely do that and then just attack for one. We have a dissipate. They're not going to play anything big. Combat research isn't bad. We could always make this appear if they have a counter spell. We'll play the Ottawara so that we can hold up Dissipate. Blood Tithe Harvester. Yeah. I think I've got a lot of advantage right now. Okay. They get to keep their advantage. Um, so then we just play this. And end the turn. Another Blood Tithe Harvester. Okay. You want to sack your first one to kill my stowaway? I guess you could kill my fairy vandal too. You have another counter spell? Another make disappear? You do not. Okay. Everybody's slipping out the back. And they have one mana open, that's rough. Can't block. Um, let's do Vandal first. Oh, okay. Fair. So they're playing... Vampires, maybe? I feel like I should be sideboarding in more counters if they're playing counter magic. I'm still getting used to this like sideboarding thing. 
it's a lot more of like a a bigger game when you count in sideboards uh no counters no creatures ship um baiting hope i guess We got a slip out the back, that's good. Can play stowaway on three. But I don't wanna bounce that. Um scry at least island will take it er. uh, then we can play shipwreck and stowaway Sack their harvester for it. I mean, I have to try, right? Fair. They killed their harvester and took two life and spent their whole turn. I can't do anything. appraiser sure I'm just holding control so they think I can do something yep pass to combat pass to attackers make this now we get the make disappear okay They are just playing vampires then. Buster's just gonna give them too much card advantage. We draw a thirst for discovery. Rough. Um, sure. can't discard a basic land so we're going to submit those two and then we're just going to put a hold on their end step oh, take three
Okay, so they have a shield, right? So we are going to do some sideboarding. They also have Um, so we're going to pull that out, pull these out. Silver Scrutiny for Heroes Downfall. Soul Transfer for one of the Kaitos. I think that's okay. Our only stickler is going to be drawing that white mana. Can we start with one white? And our hands filled with playables. Okay. And we get a Void Rand, that's really good. Really, really good. Blood Tithe Harvester on two. Turn two. Bank Buster on two, okay. I think we hold it up for Dissipate. Could also Soul Transfer. Do nothing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Sure. Draw your card. No blocks. My turn. We get a second attack of Numa. Okay. Play Shieldred again. I dare you. It was smart that they waited till I was mostly tapped out. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. They're just playing that. Grix is all of the good cards.
Blood Tithe Harvester, sure. My turn. Oh, interesting. So if I Kaito... Now I can't Kaito, which sucks. Oh, and they can counter this, can't they? Um, uh, sure. Play Shieldred, that's fine. Yeah. Who's alive? Interesting. It's just another one of those matches where, like, they're playing all of the good stuff. And it's like the decks you've seen a million times. And I just. Corpse Appraiser. Sure. Yep. Corpse appraiser for no value. Uh, Marsh. Return creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard. That is how many? Four? That would leave me with three. That's still enough to Kaito if I wanted. I mean, not bad. They can counter that openly. Oh. Um, they have no creatures, I have no creatures. Intern. Okay, now what? Now you have a pilot. And a cut down, okay. You can have my one counter. Yeah, 
Sure. Okay, wow. Rough. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, that was fun. I think so. Um, questions, concerns, the Questions I have are minimal. I guess I should put cut downs in my sideboard. Keep a couple in my main deck and put a couple in my sideboard just in case they are playing low to the ground creatures. Now, do I like Trespasser more than I like Illuminator? Probably not. I think if we cut out the white, we keep both Trespasser and Illuminator, and then we worry about more destroy cards. We probably put Exile. What is half the peril is all creatures of mana value two or less. That's like most of my stuff. I don't think we play half the peril. Um, we could play a third illuminator. And March, we play a second soul transfer. I like our main board right now. Um, it's not really missing anything. I feel like the mana could be better, um, if we do 10 islands, three, or maybe nine and four, two waterfront districts. I just want less tap land, and I think that that's a problem. Our other options are tap land, tap land, because we don't have any of the pain. Oh, the pain lands aren't out yet, right? This is the set um, of pain lands that are coming in the next drop. Um, so our sideboard needs two cards. We have uh, creatures in. We could play more counters in our sideboard. So we could whittle down the draw and go heavy counters. Uh, maybe a second negate rather than a third dissipate. Okay, so our plan is 
Draw a bunch of cards. Make our Vandal bigger. Make all make our Vandals bigger. Um, barring that, we sideboard in Graveyard Hate. Uh, more Exile. Actually, you know what is. Hero's Downfall is better than Soul Transfer, right? In this very specific scenario. Because if I'm putting in Graveyard Hate, I don't want to put in... Um, maybe we just put in these that are counters and... I don't want to exile something if I'm putting in a bunch of graveyard hate. So our sideboarded deck is a little creature heavy. But whenever you draw, whenever you draw. We play one Shieldred and two Kaitos. The problem is that this only triggers once. It only triggers on that second draw. Um, let's see if there's anything in the not collected. Just the other version of Fairy Vandal and Storm Chaser Drake. I mean, <sighs> okay, let's go, let's back up. If we put Quasar back in. I feel like I don't need the Vohars. I don't need three there or combat researches. So that puts us at 13 creatures. Four, eight, 12, 13. We are going to want to put in Void Rens. Instead of Hero's Downfall. And instead of Urtai. Um, because we have Suspicious Stowaway, I feel like Trespasser's better than... Illum no, Illuminator gives me access to my deck. So I feel like we could sideboard in Denik. Thank you. 
Teferi is interesting. Faithful, faithful mending is really good. Gain two life, draw two cards, discard two cards. Okay, so let's let's do the land thing first. Shadowed Sanctum, Cave of Koilos. 27 lands, so we can nix. Twenty-five lands. Oh yeah, I feel like we're gonna want to go to seven islands. We're gonna wanna put a basic planes in here. Basic planes or two? What? Is that the other panel? Oh, that's both. Oh my god. You've got like 90% of a sweater there. Damn. Damn. Um, hmm. Sideboarding in Denik Void Rinse. We're still maintaining our. We want to counter everything. Um. Figure out the lands first, and then we can worry about the rest of it. We want Obscura. 
storefronts. One less caves. Two less waterfront districts. That's 24 lands, 22 technically. We have eight black, four white, 35 blue. Yeah, I think we do two, seven, and two. So then we've got all these dual lands that are also tapped for black. Obscura can find us one or the other. Tastes bad. Now, I'm curious about stuff like Companion or Overseer. Pretty much it in white. Curse of Surveillance is also interesting. I still think we could play a Shieldred. Maybe if we go down. Maybe we do two and two. Bump this up to three. I mean, I'm not stoked on the stowaway either. So it's like one of those things that I'm kind of leaving it in the main deck until we get the stuff from Brothers War that's going to replace it. The nice thing is, is that nothing's rotating out with this new set, so it's just kind of adding more to the pieces available. Unfortunately, that um, most people play, that play standard best of three are the types that are playing the standard decks, the top five standard decks. There's only ever a handful that get played the most um, so we can look at untapped data, find out. Uh, oh, we won. Play first. No thanks. Better. Keep ship a stowaway. No counter magic. They're playing Jund. Hello? 
home speaker. Interesting. Okay. I need another black source though. Now we get our counter magic. Okay. I mean, if they're playing Jund, then I'm assuming they're playing Soul of Wind Grace. That's the new hotness, right? Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Well, that's not my favorite. Um. All right, well, we just attack, see what we get. Skira Storefront. Um, let's ditch that. So we're gonna draw a card here. I know something you don't Fading know. Hope, okay. We can bounce that then. We scry another fading hope. You may discard up to two cards. If you do draw that many cards, they're going to discard. Two cards. Oh my god, they're playing Blood Tithe and Trespasser? Okay. Rough. They have four black, two red, three green. What else? What do you need, bud? Voltage Surge. Makes sense. So makes sense that they would play that. Riveteer's charm is the best of the charms. Hit me for one, sure. I feel bad for your mentor if that's your attack. Um, uh, we're going to play storefront, and we're going to find a second black source. And then we're going to swing, draw, a firmament sage. Could probably get rid of the second Kaito. Now, what do we have here? Yeah, I mean, I have no counters to play, so. You do what you need to do. I'm just gonna tap out and sit here and chill. It's all you now, bud. The problem is I don't want to play Shieldred without any way to protect them either. And I have to assume that their hand was like sort of creature heavy because they got rid of two creatures like right out of the gate trespasser sure sure that's one spell 
no second spell. Okay. And no way to protect Shieldred. We will draw and discard a stowaway. We will draw for free. I know something you don't know. Silver scrutiny. Um oh shit, that's the perfect trespasser. That is the perfect trespasser target. Killing the shieldred and then we draw a shipwreck marsh. Another fable. I mean, I could make them tap out for it. At least I'll be safe for a turn. Oh, they don't want to. Okay. Hmm. Definitely should have countered that one. So I'm going to Silver Scrutiny knows shadows like for two. Oh, I've always hated crime. Could kill my Kaito, which sucks. That was a free card draw. Yeah, I've got two creatures in there for sure. Wait, why'd you only pick one? Oh, no big deal. I'll try again later. Fairy Vandal. We will shipwreck Marsh. We still have no way to protect the... Shieldred. So we're just going to... Play this. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player. That's fine. Play this for one. Another stowaway. No, I really want to get Shieldred down, so we're going to ditch that, and then on their end step, we'll thirst for discovery. Or if they try to cast like a cut down or something. Reflection on the trespasser is interesting. Sure. Uh, okay. Make another mana dork. Or you just want to attack me with your land. I mean, sure. Don't 
Discard two cards. We're going to discard the Shipwreck Marsh and the... Quasar, because the Takanuma helps us get the... Children back if it dies. So we're going to Obscura. We're going to get a white. And we're going to cut down. And Shieldred. Um, well, now you can't discard any cards. Hmm? Okay. I should have kept the fading hope rather than the dissipate. Um, so we're going to bring in more counters and a Denic. We're going to take out Sage. And two stowaways. And Silver Scrutiny. We'll bring in a Void Rend. We want to do that. Actually, let's get rid of both all the stowaways and bring in the Illuminators. That makes it less likely that we play creatures on two. I think when we gum up the two slot, um, we are more often going to do that. Go down to one combat research and bring in a third cut down. Drop one thirst for discovery and bring in a disdainful stroke. I like that. All right, this sideboard's feeling pretty good. These best of three matches take so long, though. That's the thing. I don't mind it, really, but... They're playing Jund. We did not see a win grace at all that game. And we only really won because they effed up and drew two cards from there. Oh my god. Oh, that's worse. Um, I'm going to keep it and ship a Quasar. And then we can consider right away. I don't know. They're on the play, so it's not good. Um, at least with Quasar in hand, we could ship it with Kaito. They're going to just take our make disappear, though. Oh, they could take Kaito, no? Yeah, okay. Not bad, duress is good.
We should be running to res. We should have multiple duress in our sideboard and swap those out for fading hopes. Fading hopes and the draw card aura. Not sure what is going on right now. Bank Buster, okay. Second Island, we'll take that. And a Shipwreck Marsh, nice. Don't do it. Oh, they duressed me again. I mean, sure, take the make disappear. Damn. Now you know I have the lands I needed. Sure, draw your card. Draw your card, friend. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. Oh well shit. Well, she. I drew a way to get Quasar on the board. Next turn, we can make an unblockable that will feed Kaito. We get a swamp. I got someone on the inside who can help. At this point, I just want to whittle them away a little bit. I'm fully tapped out. They can play whatever they want. They need to worry about Shieldred and they need to worry about Kaito. Whichever one they prioritize is fine by me. They're immediately going to draw another card. Okay. seems that seems a little odd but um that's okay bolted surge my kaito not my favorite i don't love it so we definitely play storefront Drank all my water and now I'm just really thirsty. Um, well, I guess we just attack with both. They have one mana up.
Rock Fall Vale. Okay, you got all the man in the world. What do you need now? You can pilot your bank buster. Hit me for four. I would love a way to draw extra cards next turn. Sure. They don't know what my island is, so I'm going to hold priority a little bit. The highest mana. God damn it. That's a big pain in the butt. Unlicensed hearse. Okay. And you can do that right away. Absolutely brutal. Um, okay, we don't draw. Equal to the number of cards exiled with it. We do not draw a way to draw cards. Um, we could use some Void Rens right about now. Let's just grab another Planes because we've already got... Three blue, two black, four blue, including my island, in hand. Seiju who endures. Good card, good card. Trespasser, okay. I don't think I have any creatures left, my guy. Do you? No. So just take something out of my graveyard that you don't want me to ever cast again. Don't take nothing. Do not... Okay, good. I was worried for a second. I was worried. Um... Okay. Draw cards. God dang it. Um, Alright. Well, I'm going to leave the island in hand so that they don't know I have it. Ping them for one. Sure. Play something large. I dare you. Preferably mana value four or greater. I mean, they've got to be playing Shieldred, right? My Kaito, no. No blocks. Hi, my boy. 
All sweatered up. Well, of course Fable is less than two, four mana. And another bank buster. Okay. Um fading hope. Would have been great to find some card draw here. Take them to four. I think I need to save Fading Hope to bounce the hearse. Oh, maybe that's why they didn't target anything with the grid. That makes sense. If I could disdainful stroke whatever they draw off the top, they get to try again. So if they don't like it, they can discard it and draw again. They like it. Okay. They like it. What is it though? Soul of Wind Grace, the perfect target. For my disdainful stroke. The perfect target. I didn't even know Soul of Wind Grace was four mana. How much is this? Two mana? So they could just play it again? And tap it right away. That's rough. Oh, uh, sure. So I take eight. Oh, they're not attacking with their graveyard. Okay. Put all my cards back into my graveyard, please. Please. I find a consider card draw. Heck yeah. All right. No blocks. Take four. Play your hearse. What? Okay. Make disappear. Children. Okay. That is game. That was good. I I don't know. Maybe I just want it to be like snappier. Oh, they're digging now. Oh. I think I've been playing the really low to the ground mono blue decks for s and Demir decks for a while and it feels this is definitely like more of a mid-range card draw. Um, not a lot of control. 
And so it feels a little bit different. It's like something that I need to get used to again is playing that mid range game. Um, a lot of fun. I think there's a lot of tweaks to be made. Definitely. If you're watching this, um, on YouTube, definitely comment below. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for things that I need to put in here, obviously Rafine is a big choice. Um, anything that puts counters and lets me draw a bunch is great, but I'm currently short on mythic wild cards. I'm hoping that I open some more, uh, soon. Obviously I want to put, you know, a full play set of Rafine in here with the fairy vandals and then to fairy from the brothers war set, um, on Tuesday. I've got two uh, mythic wild cards that I'm just saving up for. Um, Teferi will be mythic and it's fits into the four mana slot, I believe. So this is what we've got. Um, hold on, let me flip this first. So this is what we've got so far. The Quaze is not bad. The Kaito's not bad. Shieldred's obviously great. Suspicious Stowaway can take it or leave it. Um, and then we've got a lot more kind of control and graveyard hate in the sideboard. Uh, but this is kind of the deck. It feels really nice. I haven't really gotten to pop off with the Fairy Vandals too much yet. But let me know if you can think of any suggestions, things I should look at. Things I should definitely consider sideboarding, mainboarding. Appreciate uh, everyone that watches these videos and checks out the channel. We're quickly rising in um, subscribers on YouTube. So if you're watching this and you haven't subbed yet, would really appreciate it. We're trying to get to some of those smaller benchmarks that allow us to start doing more uh with the youtube creator programs so definitely definitely subscribe if you can it's free you don't necessarily have to turn on the bell to get all the notifications about when new videos come out right now all we're kind of trying to do is get more uh, subscribers a lot of people that watch our videos um aren't subscribed currently so we're just trying to get people to hit that big red subscribe button and, and raise that number a bit more um, so we can start being included in some conversations we're currently not included in. Um, but yeah, I love making these videos. I love talking about deck techs and giving things a try. I appreciate all the time that people come and hang out uh, with me recording these live on Twitch that comment and like the videos on YouTube and, and watch them there. Appreciate anyone who interacts and waste their precious minutes watching my videos. Um, it seems surreal to me that anyone does it and I'm eternally grateful that anyone ever would. So thank you. And that's the fairy van.